because I, I do want to get into um, why I disagree with the bill also. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And before we do that, I would like to play this clip. All right. Now, now I had to go back into the vault. I had to go back to 2019 to pull this up for everybody. Now, I'm sure some of our listeners have heard this clip between uh, Judge Joe Brown and Dr. Umar Johnson. And I thought it was fire. All right. So I'm unpacking this. All right. So let's, let's listen to this clip. And shout outs to Valerie Denise Jones. I think her show was hot. You know, um, you know, much love to her and her guests and uh, fair use, fair use. Round one, fight. I got a question for you, Judge, if I could. Yes, sir. Uh, because I would hate for any listeners and particularly feminists to misinterpret your comments earlier on Queen I Mother Harriet Tubman. I don't goddamn about feminists. They can go straight to hell, and I know they hate themselves because they got two X chromosomes instead of an XY. They are fraudulent, well, self-hating, and they're sick. Well, I'm all... I just want to stop right there. I do think it's some truth to what Judge Joe Brown is saying right there. You know, again, to me, it's self-hating when you can't say black people. You just got to say black women. All right. So I kind of agree with him what he's saying about feminists. But let's keep going. Also, I also wanted to clarify for me as well, Judge, because um, I know you had mentioned Thurgood Marshall, Dr. King, Frederick Douglass. And I just wanted to uh, clarify with you that just want to stop right there real quick too now i do think that good you know possible candidates should be thurgood marshall frederick douglas and martin luther king right i i can agree with what judge joe brown is saying concerning that all right but let's keep going your comments were not suggestive of saying that by doing the harriet tubman movie that that somehow undermine the works of those great male leaders because that's what it no it does like but the objective is i've heard it from the hollywood sources i have these feminists are trying to do this movie so they can get a black woman put on a 20 dollar bill and they have no interest in this movie is to soften the public up to the idea of taking a black woman who frees slaves uh, by leading them to freedom and getting her or, or another one like her on a $20 bill. They can't get a white woman, so they want a black woman. They don't care. They just want a woman, and it downs masculinity. Now, everybody on a bill is not a dead president. Don't forget Ben Franklin. He was never a president. So that's plenty of precedent to put in somebody black who was never a president. Like, let's say if we want to go back to the... 19th century, like all of the rest of the people are on there, died off in, in the 19th century or the 18th century. We've got Ben Franklin, so we can have Frederick Douglass. Okay. Again, I agree with him on that. You know what I mean? We can have Frederick Douglass. I agree with what the judge is saying, but let's keep going. We will keep unpacking this. But you, you think, I mean, do you? That's you, what I'm saying. Uh, Okay, but you don't have a problem with a black woman, and in this case, Harriet Tubman, being memorialized. In whatever way that comes, you don't have a problem with that, do you? Or, or do you I have got a, a big problem if it's on a bill before they put a black man's face on one. I have a big problem with Why? that. Why do because you have a problem with a black woman? Because historically, the status woman? of a, an ethnic group is determined by its men. Not. Its I got to stop right there. I agree with the judge 100%. And that's really my point to why I feel the way I do. The reason I disagree with it is because I agree with him that the status of a people is predicated upon his men. Just like a strength of the of a people is predicated upon its men. All right. Now I'm gonna add some more to it as we go. It's women. And that you put but a you black woman on there before a black man is insulting to the black race because you're saying I, I, the men ain't uh, worth a damn. Put a woman I up there agree. first. Again, I agree with him. I feel the same way that if you put a black woman on the bill first, it is insulting to our race. It's insulting to the men. I do feel that way. I'm making it very clear, man. Let's keep going. 
I disagree. Well, I Judge. don't. I disagree. I don't think. I won't. And the other putting thing Harry, is, I, black I male think my, leadership. Black Honoring a black woman needs does to not... lead the black race by saying, impose <laughs> your sense of responsibility on motherhood and start raising some decent young men instead of these little monsters that you have running around the house where you don't want to have a father involved with them. Start being but, Let's stop right there. I agree with his statements right there. Now, some cases, right, the men leave. This is true. It's not always the woman leaves the man sometimes the man is just of no good and he leaves he has nothing to do with the child right but that's whoever's... how it began that's yeah. how it began but now it's flipped where where the women feel as though they don't they don't need a man that they but, don't need a man so they're going against the, the the laws of the universe nature yeah and see whatever parent is still there with the child has the responsibility to make sure that child turns out to be something or you will end up with a monster now i got this clip i want to play this right Fair use, fair use. Now I got this from World Star Hip Hop. You know, just this just happened recently. Twenty-two year old Harlem man shoots his mother in the head after she told him to get a damn job. Mm. Fair use, fair use. Police say that twenty-two year old Musa Kamara shot his own mother in the head. Now family members told us that the mother and her son had recently been arguing, as you mentioned, Adam, over him getting a job. The victim's brother. The uncle wants no mercy for his nephew. Family and friends huddled in grief at Lehman Village houses. <laughs> Fatumata Denson was a mother of eight. Police say one of her children, Musa Kamara, shot and killed her around nine this morning. The uncle wants justice. I want him to go rest of his life in prison. <laughs> Danson arrived in New York City more than 25 years ago. Lovely sister, she don't have no, she kind to the entire family, let's say kind to everybody. She always smile and laugh. Today, she was found dead in her 15th floor apartment. According to witnesses, Musa Kamara shot her in the head and ran away. Since a video shows the moment police arrested him on 108th Street and Madison Avenue. He got arrested uh, with, the, with the weapon. Uh, I don't know the, the, the size of what kind of weapon it is, but he got arrested with the weapon. Family members say Fatumata had recently pressed her son to find a job, and on several occasions things got heated. A grieving brother now lamenting the untimely death of his little sister says he will never forgive his troubled nephew. Come and look for a better life, and she got killed by her own son, which is uh, Musa Kamara. My nephew, I want him to go live in prison. No mercy for him. Police say that Kamara was taken to a hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. We are still awaiting word on charges. Reporting live from East Harlem, Gabby Acevedo, News 4 New York. Uh, just All right. Now, back to what the judge was saying. Again, raising monsters, right? This is why we don't agree here at the power of offense with prison, doing away with prisons. You need prisons for monsters, you know, people who commit murders, you know, like the young man that just shot his mom in the head because she told him to get a damn job. How, well, how does she? Brittany Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, that's the system that did that joint. Yeah, but it was it's, it still is his choice, though. You know what I'm saying? How many of us have decided not to do something like that? Yeah. You know? But, but let's keep moving real mothers and pay attention to it that's but what honoring need. a but honoring a black woman judge how is that an insult to black men i don't understand because that. Why can't if they had be? a black man on there it wouldn't be but if you put a black woman first that's an insult to black men harriet tubman rescued 200 she rescued maybe two hundred fifty. She rescued more, no, more than that. Judge. Well, it more may be, that. but there were black men that did something better than that too. There's one that's down here featured at a house in nor going into North Memphis here, where they had an underground railroad, and the brother got several thousand black slaves to freedom. Okay. But they don't. Now I'm gonna stop right there. I didn't know that. You know what I mean? I, I didn't. I didn't know what he's talking about. And I wish Judge O'Brien was able to drop the man's name. You know what I mean? But again, what we do know is that there were several people that were 
participate because underground railroad couldn't exist if it was if it was only one person that was uh um that was um helping slaves escape you know if it was only harriet tubman it would have never been a underground railroad so of course it naturally had to be, have been more than just her you know you know what i'm saying yeah that's why now, they called her the conductor because she was uh she was running her leg of of the underground railroad but i get i i get both 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 points you, you know what i'm saying but but it's something how i judge judge joe brown point is is that once again they're putting the black woman over the black man, not saying that uh, Harriet Tubman is not his story, because to me, she's close to my number one. Right. You know, if not mm -hmm. my, my number one, based on the little history we were taught in school. But but just like Judge Joe Brown said, they are just like there was people before uh, Rosa Parks, but she got the credit. Exactly. You, you know, you know exactly. So it's it's an agenda. It's it's the point that yeah. the judge is trying to relate, and I agree with him. This is why you have women. That's what I'm saying. Like Brittany Cooper, right? The only thing we agree on is the fact that she disagreed that Harry Tubman should be on the bill. That's the only thing me and her agree on. But we don't agree on the reasons. You see what I'm saying? This woman only acknowledged black women in black communities. She only acknowledged black people. That because she's, she's not confused. black men. Yeah, yeah. She's that's, confused. That, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep going. Don't even right. commemorate well, him, you and agree. you can't even hear learn about but it. But Judge Joe, Unless you have to walk in that monument. But, but what? So what agree? the hell? They don't say but they want to do that because Frederick, you let somebody to Joe. freedom. Pause is right. <laughs> He's not going to beat Judge Joe Brown in the argument. Judge Joe Brown is professional. You know, you say he exactly. cut him off. That's that legal shit he doing. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Umar Johnson may be a doctor, but he's not a legal professional. He knows just nope. how to cut him off every, every... That's what I'm listening to, how he just cut him off. Exactly. Every single time. That's the professionalism of the legalese, but go ahead. Yeah, man, the best thing for Umar to do is take... Like we do, Rodney. Yeah. Piece of paper, take notes, and let Judge O'Brien get it out, and then, you, and then you address it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the best way to do it. Yeah. Just he like how they do it at court. Yeah, he's not going to win that joint. But go ahead. <laughs> All right. Judge, wouldn't you agree that Frederick Douglass, Dr. King, and Thurgood Marshall have all been exceedingly more celebrated and remembered in both black history and American history than Queen Mother Harriet Tubman? I want to stop right there and answer that. I agree with him on that. Yes. I do believe in black history that Frederick Douglass and Martin Luther King, especially Martin Luther King, has been celebrated more than Harriet Tubman. I agree with that 100 percent, but I'm still unpacking my reasons right now. Now, Thurgood Marshall, Frederick Douglass and Martin Luther King are three people that Judge Joe Brown mentioned. Right. But I got my own set of people and we're we going to get to that. You know what I'm saying? But I do agree with what Dr. Umar is saying right here that that in comparison, I do feel like Martin Luther King and Frederick Douglass was possibly celebrated more than Harriet Tubman. Definitely Martin Luther King. I mean, we have a whole memorial for him. <laughs> yeah. Downtown, D.C. They need Frederick to put Douglas. them. They need to put them on a bill and show respect. They've got a homicidal Fred maniac. Andrew <laughs> Jackson on a $20 bill. They've got a non-president, Benjamin Franklin, on a $50 bill. They've got Grant. They've got every Calvin Coolidge on but a damn Doug, bill, too. Douglas and King have been written about more than any other black I don't care. in American it's history. Why I'm not give And I Douglas. remember, look, why look, look, not give black can't. women? Well, well I'm a, let me say this. Dr. Umar Johnson, I'm going to answer your question, bro. Right? Yeah, I agree with you. Martin Luther King, right, as well as Frederick Douglass was written about probably more than any other black person in history. I agree, right? But I'm going to present you soon with some other men that can actually be on that bill rather than Harriet Tubman. Because I personally do believe that a man precedes his race. The strength of a race is predicated on a man. But let's keep going. In their opportunity, Judge. I don't Why care. Not you put a black man on there first because the thing of it is, they are not I going disagree. to lynch. They are the, not going the, to generally lynch black women. They'll rape them, 
but they'll lynch the black men. If they would have caught Harriet Tubman, they would have lynched the dollars. If they would have caught Harriet Tubman, they would have lynched them. They go in and deal with getting rid of the men. If they would have caught Harriet Tubman, they would have lynched the judge. Stand and deliver, sacrifice self, be the last in the damn lifeboat when the women and children get in there first. Again, like I just said, the strength of a people, right? The strength of a race is predicated on the man. This is basically what Judge Joe Brown is saying. I agree with him. How about you, Rodney? Yeah, yeah, I do agree. All right. 